g'day all, welcome back again. Um, it's sort of a goal video. Uh, I'm not in the gold fields yet. It's just coming up to Christmas. It's the uh, summer solstice today, so the longest day of summer. It's the 21st of December in Australia. We've been having loads of rain. Everything's green. Completely changed from this time last year when we had bushfires and drought. So it's a lovely change, but we've had a little coronavirus outbreak and all the borders are closing again just before Christmas. So I thought I'd cheer myself up and do a little bit of gold refining. Now I've never really had to deal with uh, fine gold before, I've always just mucked around with nuggets, but you might have seen an earlier movie I released uh, at the start of the coronavirus actually, where I crushed down some rocks and melted down some gold. Well, this is the tailings basically of of that crushing event I'm left with all these finds they're actually quite rich in gold if you have a look So I was uh, trying to pan them off, but I was having a lot of trouble with the black sand, uh, separating the gold from the black sand. So I got myself one of these little uh, blue bowl type concentrators here. And I've also bought myself some different mesh sieves. So I've got a one in 30, a one in 50, and one in 75. So that's 75 holes per inch sorry it's 70 so 70 holes per inch and then there's 50 holes per inch and then there's 30 holes per inch plus i've just got a little kitchen sieve which is a bit bigger again so from my research uh the main important thing here is to classify the concentrates so i'll classify them down from the kitchen sieve to the 30, the 50, and the 70, and then I'll run them through the little, um, the blue bowl style concentrator, and hopefully we'll, uh, get some good results, and you guys can come along for the ride, and you can watch this half a gold pan full of what looks like dirt turn into some gold. I'm actually hoping there's between 5 and 10 grams of gold in there. So we're looking at um, 500 to to $1,000, hopefully. That'll pay for some of this gear. Okay, back again so soon. Um, all right, so here we have the largest concentrates that wouldn't go through that yellow kitchen sieve. There's a few chunks of gold there. I mean, look at that, there's a picker. There's a few bigger chunks in there. This here is the 30 and over, so that's the remains of what wouldn't go through the 30. Here's the 50 and over, there's the 70 and over, and in here is under 70, so that's what went through the finest. There's a lot of fine gold in there. So the first four. Sorry, the, f the three in the green bowls and the one in the gold pan, I'll put in the concentrator. This stuff here, I'm going to put it back into a dolly pot and I'm going to try and crush it down again. Crush it down so it gets into uh, one of these four layers of um, classification. And then I'll start and I'll get the blue bowl going. Um, we'll see how that goes at concentrating the gold. Okay, welcome back. I've just got the blue bowl warming up here. And I managed to dolly pot all of those uh, larger finds that wouldn't go through that yellow sieve there. There's the dolly pot. The good news is I've managed to get them all through that yellow sieve now. So all I have to do is shake these, shake this final orange dirt through these sieves, and that'll classify it down into the three different grades. 
I'll do that now, one second. Okay, there we go. So this is the 30 mesh and over. There's the 50 mesh and over. There's the 70 mesh and over. Here's the under 70, really, really fine. And this is the stuff that the, the little blue bowl style concentrator deals with the best, I'm told. Anyway, put a few scoops in and let's see how we go. Okay, so I put about four packed tablespoons or dessert spoons full of the, actually didn't go the finest grade, the under 70, I went some of the over 70. <laughs> Let's see how we go. going beautiful just there, dragging all those fine particles up the wall, over the lip and down into the, through the funnel. Hopefully all that fine gold is staying in the bottom, bottom corner lip. Okay, welcome back. Well, that went for about five minutes. Um, I apologise because the water's a little bit murky, it's not crystal clear because there's a lot of fine dirt in that. But the old uh, blue bowl's pretty much taken all those fine sands out and it's just left the gold. Have a look at that gold. Big pile over there. And then we've got all this all the way around. Oh yeah, and I have a mine supervisor here, making sure everything's above board and going to plan. Here he is. Hello. That's it. Very nice. Wow, loads of fine gold, that's super fine. So that's gone through that, through the 70 mesh. Is the results of the under 70 mesh. So all this super fine flower gold has gone through the 70 mesh. So it's 70 or smaller. Super, super fine. Just like gold dust, literally. Yeah, well, welcome back again. Well, I finished all my screening and uh, working of the concentrates. Uh, pretty much what I learnt so far is that that blue bowl or the gold vortex can really only handle the real fine separating. Anything over the 50 mesh, uh, it doesn't really like. So the under 70, it loves, and the over 70, it loves. 
but uh, when you get back to the 50 and the 30 and even below that, just can't handle those bigger um, pieces of rock and sand. They just won't, they'll lift a little, but they won't lift up and over. So I pretty much had to pan those other grades of mesh. Um, anyway, pretty happy with what I've got here so far, so I'll give you a little look. As you can see, you got all sizes from chunky gold right down to right down to the flower gold. Now we've got the chunky gold over here. Anyway, I'm hoping that could be about oh, maybe it could be five grams there. Maybe even a little bit more, between 5 and 10 anyway. Yeah, so I'll just heat this up now in a little saucepan. Uh, dry, dry it right out completely and then I'll have the final weigh-in. We'll see how we went. Okay, welcome back. We've got the big weigh-in. Uh, the scales... Get the scales happening. Tear them out. Okay, here we go. There it is, 18.73 grams. So that's well over half an ounce of gold there out of my last little look like bowl of dirt. Now there's still a little bit of black sand in there, but not too much, maybe 2%, something like that. So it's looking pretty good. Anyway, thanks to the gold vortex two and a couple of hours of panning, and that's the result. Yeah, welcome back. Uh, we're going to have a go at melting the gold today that I processed and refined um, out of those rocks you saw me crush. So I've got a mould here. And I think uh, this this one is going to be about the right size. Uh, I've got a bit of borax, a bit of sal almanac. There's a little bit of charcoal crushed up in there. We've got our propane torch here. A crucible on our tongs. Okay, here's the gold. I'll just tear that. Okay, here's the gold. So we've come in at 24.5 grams. Now that's gone up a bit because you can see those those real bright pieces. Um, there were a couple other chunks I had left over from another melt, so I've just tossed them in as well. But mainly that's the gold out of that refining process, plus those few chunky bits. Okay, here goes the additive of charcoal and sal almanac. And borax. And a little bit of borax to aid the melting process and give a nice bright malleable bar. A nice bright malleable bar and to help get rid of any impurities.
Here we go. Okay, so here it is. It's the culmination of all that uh, rock crushing, dolly potting, uh, sieving. Blue bowling, um, ma uh, more sieving, gold panning, washing, acid, uh, magnets, and everything else. And here we're left with 22.5 gram nugget with a tiny bit of slag on the top. And we've lost 2 grams there, but we believe there's still about 2 grams or probably one and a half, two grams in this crucible, which we will melt down on our next melt. Anyway, have a look at this in the sun. Just magnificent. Beautiful, bright, chunky gold from Western Australia. Heavy, very weighty. And there it is. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully we can bring you some more gold movies season 2021 in Western Australian Goldfield this year. As long as coronavirus doesn't get in the way again like last year. <laughs>